Frozen 2 picks up three years later. Elsa's been accepted by her people. She's busy being queen. But there are still questions that remain. Why does Elsa have her ice powers? Um, what is Anna's special gift to the world? What is their purpose in life? And our characters go on a journey far beyond Arendelle to get some questions answered of their past. I won't let anything happen to her. At one of her big songs early in the movie, Elsa sets off sort of a chain reaction which results in these ice crystals forming in midair. And each one of those ice crystals has one of the four element symbols on them, whether it be earth, air, water, or fire. The minute we saw the crystals in the air with the symbols of the elements on them, and we said, oh, that's the journey. That's this what's, gonna that's Frozen 2. <laughs> The environment really is, it's almost a character in, a, in Frozen 2. There are some spoilers uh, that I can't talk about, where the elements play a major, major role. They sense that Elsa's there, and then they start sort of challenging her in a way. And then the elements play a role in some costume design as well. I mean, there's so much of the symbolism of where we're going in Elsa's travel costume that isn't spotlighted, but it's there in the shape and the pattern and the lines. The process of working on the character's wardrobe is very complex. We always start from the story first. Uh, we always ask who, what, when, where, and why. They are outdoors a lot, and they have to wear clothing that is gonna protect them. The idea of this movie is venturing into the elements made Columbia seem like a natural fit to us. Promise me we do this together, okay? I promise. Growing up, I was a huge fan of Disney, so I was incredibly excited to be working on this project. With that came a little bit of nerves. How am I gonna do this and do it justice, you know? Very early on, we talked about wanting to partner with companies that could help make our movie as sophisticated as we could. We certainly weren't looking to create a costume. What we really wanted you to do was be inspired by the film. Being able to incorporate the functionality into an actual wearable garment, but also being able to be free with it and to just go, well, what if we do a cape? Because we had never done a cape at Columbia before, and what would that look like? Working with Disney, we definitely were able to get these assets that you know nobody had seen yet. And pairing with Columbia, that specific iconography became an important element to work with. These details were extremely meaningful to each of the characters. And if you look really closely, you'll see that in the apparel. Whoa. Wow. Another fun challenge was to incorporate Columbia's technology with Omnitech waterproof breathable fabrication so you can actually be outside in these and stay protected and dry. Another amazing thing that we incorporated is our Omni Heat technology that reflects your body heat back to you and keeps you warmer. Something that was different within this piece was the application of a holographic Omni Heat and it's absolutely stunning. When you open this thing up, the light hits it, and it just feels magical. <laughs> and then we have a gold reflective print for Anna. This is the first time we're seeing it, and it makes it extremely special to these pieces, and it just seemed totally effortless. We work in a world of digital, so seeing things in real life uh, that people actually wear and walk down the street in. And you can actually touch. Yeah. It's exciting. Very exciting. Finding something that you can wear that reflects the way it makes you feel. It's creating this wonderful connection from the film to the apparel and making it feel extremely authentic. That's what you strive for, is, you know, is to make a film that touches people so much that they actually make it part of their lives. And to have all these things combined, well, it doesn't get any better than that. <laughs>